learning simplified my name is Eric I'll be taking you through this topic geometrical constructions and for this particular topic we'll be looking at construction of parallel lines so we want to see what parallel lines are and how to do constructions which are involving uh, parallel lines how do you construct parallel lines what are the procedures that are used to construct parallel lines so we have a few questions on the same also to help us with illustrations on how to construct parallel lines and of course at the end of the lesson we'll have some assignment to help you with practicing on what you're going to learn during this lesson so when you talk about parallel lines we mean uh, lines on the same plane that never intersect you try to extend them they will never intersect for example you draw this and you draw this you try to extend these two lines to infinity they can never meet you know that means you try to extend two lines and realize there is no possibility of them meeting then you basically conclude that those two lines are parallel you know attempted to it's different from this case this ones if you try to extend them you realize that they tend to meet at some point you know or this you know attempting to extend you know attempting to extend these two lines they tend to meet at some point but now for parallel lines even when you try to extend them they, they will not meet you know when you try to extend them they don't meet anywhere you know so they are straight lines which on attempting to extend them they will never intersect to construct uh, a line through a given point and parallel to a given line there are two possibilities one you can use a ruler and a pair of compasses only so a ruler and a pair of compasses only so in in exams sometimes you can be asked to using a ruler and a pair of compasses only possibly construct a line through a given point and parallel to a given line the second option is whereby you are using a ruler and a, a set square you know, so you can also use a set square and a ruler so in the exam possibly you can be asked using a, a ruler and a set square construct a line that is parallel to a given line and passing through a given point you know so construction of parallel lines using a ruler and a pair of compasses only is what you are starting with and the procedure is as follows first start with the line segment most of the time you're given the line segment a, a, a b p q or any other name that they could give it it could even be x y so you want to construct a line through r you know a line that is passing through r and parallel to the given line pq so how do you do that so start with the line segment pq and a given point r of the line meaning that line is not the, the point is not on the line so you use uh, that given point as the center and a convenient radius now a convenient radius in this case should be a radius that is a little a little more than the the distance of that point from the line so you extend your pair of compasses a little bit so that the radius is slightly longer you know this is the sharp end of the pair of compasses see where the pencil is so this this distance is sort of calling the radius so it should be longer than the distance of r from the line you know so after that you draw an arc that way that cuts the line at two points so you label the first point j of course j is just but a, a letter you could you could use x or, or y you know any other letter that you use j you know so I label that point j then now using j as a center and the same radius you know the same radius that you used or the radius could be this the distance between j and r of course that is the same radius that you used up there so you make another arc on the line and label this point q i mean e now shifting the the center to e make another arc now don't don't adjust the pair of compasses remember the pair of compasses should not be adjusted Do not adjust so using now e as the center make another arc to cut the first arc you know the, fa the first arc remember now we have drawn how many arcs the first one and the second one that is cutting the line at e so the first one was cutting the the line at j 
So now we're using E as the center and drawing an arc to cut the first arc at some point there. So remember we are not adjusting the radius or we are calling it the width here. So don't adjust the pair of compasses, that's what we mean. And use E as the center. Now you're supposed to use uh, a ruler. So you could call this point any letter that you wish, maybe X or Y. So you join R to that point of intersection. That line will be the line that you are looking for. See? So you call it S. So use a ruler to join R to the point of intersection of the two arcs. And basically that is the, that is the line that you are looking for. So please remember the procedure. Using R as the center, make an arc and a convenient radius. A radius should be longer than the distance of that point from the line. So cut the line at two points. Label the first point J. Using J as the center and the same radius, make an arc to cut this one here. Using now E as the center and the same radius, make an arc to cut the first arc at that point. Then now use a ruler to join. So you see that is what we have. So that is the line. The line RS is the line that we've been looking for. The line that is parallel to the line PQ and passing through R. Yes. So that is basically how we do it. That is the procedure. It's a simple procedure. Again, this is just but one of the one of the ways of, of, of drawing a line that is parallel to a given line and passing through a point. So as you interact with different literature materials or different uh, books, we are likely to see other approaches. So this is just one of the approaches. So if you come across some other one, don't say, don't ask how it comes. This is different from what I saw on the on, on the video by uh, teacher Eric from Easy Limo, you know. So this is just one of the approaches that you can use to construct a line that is parallel to a given line and uh, basically passing through the point. Now we have an alternative. You can also use a uh, ruler and, uh, and a set square. As we had hinted that there are two approaches. One, you use a ruler and a pair of compasses only or you use a ruler and a set square. So we say that a given line A, B and a point P. Okay, so the point P is the, is the point, you know, reference point. We say that the line is parallel to a given line and passing through a given point. So the point is P here. <laughs> through which a line parallel to AB is to be drawn. So a set square is placed along the line. Okay, you can see the way we are placing the set square. So the set square is... So you, you try to place the ruler there. The ruler is basically to help you, you know, with, with sliding. You know, you are supposed to slide it. You know. So the set square is supposed to be placed along the along the line. You can see the way it's placed along line AB. And you can see our ruler. Now, a set square is uh, placed along AB so that one of the edges lie on AB. Then a ruler is then placed on either side of the remaining two edges. Okay, so keeping the ruler firmly in place, the set square is a slid along the edge of the ruler. So you can slide now, you slide the ruler, I mean the set square, see, so keeping the ruler firmly. So you press the ruler firmly on the surface and then you slide, slide this set square upwards until this margin, this edge, this edge of the set square touches the point. Remember, this point will be marked. So this edge must touch that point. You see. Then now you can draw a line through. Along that edge, you can draw a line through that. You, know, you see, you're seeing it being drawn here. So you see we have moved the set square until, until this edge, this margin, this edge here of the, of the set square is touching. So you just slide it upwards until it touches point P. Then you draw a line through that point, through that point, along that edge of the set square. And you shall have drawn a line that is parallel to AB and passing through P. It's, 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 it's very simple, actually. So keeping the ruler firmly in place, uh, 
the set square is slid along the edge of the ruler until the set square edge that is along AB passes through P. You see, it touches P. Okay, passes through P. The, the edge through P is used to draw a straight line. So you, you see what, what we have done there. So we want to try and see if you can use a ruler and a pair of compasses only to construct a line through. So let me call it point X. Okay. So let me see if we'll be able to do it. So one, we'll use X as the center and a convenient radius. So we'll do this. So this is our J, you remember our J. Then I will maintain the radius. And now use J as the center. I will make an arc there. Remember this is our E. Then I will try and extend the curve a bit because the curve should This curve should go up to up there. Now I'll use E. Remember, in all these, I'm not changing the radius. I'm not, I'm not adjusting my set square. My, I mean, my pair of compasses. So you do that. So this is the S. So you draw through. In this case, I can call it XY. So this is my Y. In the previous example, we call it S. So you draw a line from S. So that is how you draw a line parallel to a given point X and I mean passing through the point given point X and parallel to the given line PQ. You see? So it's that simple. It's not hard. So that is all for the lesson. We have a few questions here to help you with practicing on what you've been learning through this lesson. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.